Have you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I am Kenya Johnson from SpaceEye, the owner of Launch on Free and Days, a full catering company. And what makes our catering company is the unique flavors of Trinidad and Tobago. We emphasize local flavors, and that is what differentiates our product from others, including our customer service. Okay, wonderful. Um, tell us a little bit about the business itself how were you what was the motivation what was the inspiration how did you become a chef a caterer well i grew up in food one thing that my family loved was to entertain it's always a harvest at our home and from there i was inspired to do food even though i have a degree in banking and finance while at university every day my sister would say to me i don't know why you are here i don't know why you are here i don't know why you go to culinary school just go and uh, when i came back from university because i studied at the mona um, campus i took the leap of faith and went to tthti at that time because they are now closed mm -hmm. yeah Great. Okay, so um, in terms of International Women's Day and inspiration, you said that it would have been your parents, your family, who would have motivated you to become a chef, and your sister was the one who encouraged you to take that leap of faith after studying banking and finance, and now you're doing culinary arts, a completely different field. Um, let's talk a little bit about you as an entrepreneur. What 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 is that journey like? That journey was not an easy one. It comes with its challenges. However, when you are powered by God, the Holy Spirit, it gives you that motivation and that drive. Every day you get up full of hope, full of joy, ready to go, ready to create the next meal. Okay. Um, you also said that your distinguishing factor would be the flavors yes. that you focus on and your customer service yes. what else would you say sets you apart because we know that a lot of people in tobago are caterers cooking doing that right. kind of thing the why should people choose you okay with our flavors we um the long term the long term goal for our brand is about gastronomic tourism where people come to tobago to experience that sweet and culture that we know of and because of a lot of caterers shying away from the local products. I want to take that spinner and do it in a modern way where people come, still get that local feel, however, in an elevated way. Because you start eating with your eyes first. Most definitely. <laughs> well, I'm already eating with my eyes and I'm very excited for us to try this food later on in the interview. Um, of course, you said that you know you have challenges and you have to be poured by God to be able to overcome them. But as an entrepreneur, of course, I know that financial challenges is something that would definitely arise. Has that ever occurred? Um, how yes, do you treat with something yes, like it that? does from time to time, especially when um, you have government work with money in accounts re receivables, and accounts receivable can be detrimental to your business. However, because I have a bit of experience in finance finance because mm -hmm. I worked in the bank for over nine years I still able to maneuver how I structure things because record keeping is one of the most important things and even with record keeping having that business account and not commingling your funds and ensure that you can account for everything is one of the way that I maneuver that financial challenge and uh, in terms of young women who probably they want to go into culinary arts but you know they're not sure how profitable it would be so they probably did a degree like you in banking and finance what motivation can you give to them for them to follow their dreams okay the main thing i would say allow passion to be your driver because once there is passion that um standard of excellence come about without passion you just treat it like a hustle when you are driven by passion there is a standard that is very high and you always try to become better and better and better at what you do okay. and um Pick up my whole friend. let's talk a little bit about the food the dishes that we have here today all right um today we would like to introduce one of our all things tobago pasta and this is a play on planting and smoke fish and in its simplest form, it's just tossed in a herbal olive oil. 
so you can really truly enjoy the flavor of Tobago. Our chocolate cake is infused with our Tobago cocoa mm. and a few other secret ingredients, as well as our cheesecake tart. It's actually a berry compote and our panna cutter, we have a, um, a poncha creme that is made by a Tobago onion, also infused with a few ingredients that I won't say because it's our secret mm. that gives us the cutting edge above the rest. Mm. Um, well the food can we try the food? yes you can feel okay. free <laughs> <laughs> feel free to so try and critique you take this so this one you said is the the smoke fish and plantain pasta okay it so it pepper. looks to me kind of like a ravioli something it is a ravioli okay, okay. that's why i want to eat <laughs> Not dry at all. This is looks very delicious. <laughs> oh wow, this is really good. You said smoke Smoked fish, fish yes. 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 Really, really good. Okay, wow, well, I'm already impressed. Can't wait to try the rest of it. <laughs> Where is she so? Okay, so the chocolate egg mix. Yes. I'm going to take it up for you. This one will be a kind of bit messy. I'm going to show the viewers the smoked fish and plantain pasta. This is what it looks like. So you see all the herbs there. You said a herb, olive oil, it's toasted. Coconut oil. Coconut oil? Yes. Mm. And the chocolate cake. So you said there is the Tobago cocoa. Tobago cocoa. Yeah. Okay, this is a Ooh. really good chocolate cake. It's not dry at all. Well. I could definitely taste the cocoa. This is very, very delicious. Thank you. Mm -hmm. okay. And there is more. Let's mm -hmm. make it a, uh, this one. This one I'm excited about because a lot of customers have reviewed this one saying that they love the flavor so this it's is your flavor. top product you would say no i won't say that okay so this one is the panna cutter panna it's cutter a and it's puncha creme puncha creme. and yes. this is the berry you part got, is yes it is okay i could dig a bit deeper okay <laughs> well babe I see why your customers really like this one. I know that um, everyone at the back is very excited to try, but I am the first to try, so I'm even more excited. <laughs> okay, and this one is a berry compote cheesecake tart. Yes. Okay. Just take one. Okay, from your side. Yeah. And how long have you been in this business? This year will be seven years. In December, the 12th to be specific, mm -hmm. will be seven years. And seven years of learning, seven years of saying that I am going to put Tobago on the map in the form of gastronomy tourism. People will come to enjoy our sweet hand culture. And who do you have to thank most for the success? Of God. This? God. Because um, most of my flavors are not just something that I will just say, okay, let me do this, let me do this. But I actually have that prompting in my spirit. Try this, try that. It is missing this, it is missing that. Because I spend a lot of time in prayer and fasting and God is the one who actually told me to start a business. And that is the reason why I start. I have my family as well as a main supporter. They, those are my cheerleaders. They work in and out day and night. And I'm thankful for them as well. And they are friends uh, that I pray with. They are those customers who inspire me and encourage me from day to day. And I will say thank you to them as well. Yeah. Well, we want to thank you so much for coming on and uh, chatting with us. Um, you could just give your little inspiration to any females out there who are interested in starting a business in general. It doesn't have to be in food or anything like that. Mm, sure. I will say ensure that passion is your main motivator and uh, 
when it comes to your product, ensure that you know what's your unique thing that set you apart. Ensure that you know the feature benefits and value of your product that you are offering because that's why people want to interact with your product. Well, um, are there any, is there anything that you plan to do for, to celebrate International Women's Day? Well, actually, yes. This weekend we'll be collaborating with Dwellings. This, this weekend we'll be collaborating with Dwellings on a pop-up shop. And we ask all brides to be and all women who just like to see what we offer to come out and support. The location is Rice Road. So take the time to come out and taste our tasty treats. Okay. And in terms of collaboration with um, other female entrepreneurs, is that something that you see happening in the future? Um, collaboration with probably, I don't know, there's the world travel markets. Um, is that something you see for yourself? Because I know you talk about, um, you spoke about tourism, gastronomy, tourism. Yes. So is that something you see for yourself in the future? Yes, I do see a lot of collaboration in the future because I believe in going forward. The only way forward is collaborating. And even with the dwelling um, event this weekend, I'm collaborating with another decorator to get the job done. Okay. And... I know you said that a lot of your ingredients are secrets. Mm -hmm. Is there anyone that you want to share or you, you're keeping it a secret? I can share the um, chocolate cake, which um, the secret, the main ingredients is, is the, the tobago, tobago cocoa, cocoa, but it's how it's infused in the cake. Mm. So that, that I cannot share. Yes, yes. As to how you do it. And um, do you have a place of business? Is it just catering or do you have a business place where you can come and buy this kind of for now it's catering there's something in the pipeline i will not share much however you will see it on all social media platform when it's birthed but you can follow us on all social media um handles at launch on free and these and and you can also whatsapp us we are open 24 hours we don't have a problem with taking whatsapp messages whenever it's received you'll get an answer and our contact is 1-868-314-2308. That's 1-868-314-2308. And um, do you see yourself ever, you know, packaging your items and selling it in groceries? Or do you want to keep that authentic feel for now? Not groceries, because I really want a boutique that you can come and really enjoy a true Tobago flavor that is you, something that is unique, something that you will get nowhere else but at lunch on free and these. And um, your inspiration for the decoration, because I must say the presentation is excellent, it's extremely excellent, taste, presentation, everything, 100 percent you and you have an a plus um what is it like because i know you probably it's very intricate what is that process like for me that process is having that <laughs> level of creativity that you always envision what you want to do and uh, once there is that passion you always find that way to excellently present what you are doing and well, it's international women's day your business is local right now yes do you is. see yourself taking it on a national scale, regionally, internationally. Yes, there is a lot to share about Tobago and its flavor. So, of course, internationally is an option. Great, great, wonderful. All right, um, uh, we want to thank you so much for coming on and chatting with us this morning. We hope to see you again sometime when you expand your business and you have much more to offer. But this was really excellent, as I said. Thank you. Um, I think you deserve all the praise that you get. Thank you. Because your food is very, very delicious. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, viewers, we're going to take a short break and we are going to be right back. Remember to share the live, share the live, share, share the, the live. live.